Unfortunately, the scene you see behind me, part of now a common occurrence, the National Guard trying to keep people away from about half a dozen of these volcanic fissures that have opened up, spewing out lava across the countrysides and communities that make up this island. It is part of the reason why now we are in a state of emergency here. This morning, the Big Island bursting open. Hawaii's Kilauea volcano spasming in a series of violent eruptions, spewing lava more than 100 feet into the air, rivers of molten red carving across the earth. Oh my God, it is spitting, oh my gosh. For days, homes and businesses have been rattled by hundreds of earthquakes. The latest a magnitude 6.9, the strongest in nearly 40 years to strike the island. Fires fueled by plumes of sulfuric gas churn near neighborhoods along the East Coast. You might not be able to see it or smell it, but the concentration of that can result in serious health issues or even uh, fatalities. So far, nearly 1,700 residents and tourists ordered to evacuate as the streets started to split apart. One night it was fine. There was little cracks in the pavement, and the next morning, boom, no one had any warning. David and Denise Jarman are worried about losing everything. They evacuated before their home became surrounded by lava. Things can be replaced. Always. Always things can be replaced. But your family can't. And neither can your friends. Still hundreds of homes at risk of being ripped apart by nature's wrath. Steve, we know these things are, are difficult to gauge, but any sense at this point when this when this might be over? Yeah, and Craig, you're touching on probably one of the scariest questions you could ask in the middle of one of these because the officials say there's almost absolutely no way to tell the duration of a volcanic event like the one we're in right now. The USGS, some of the smartest scientists and people on the planet say there's almost literally no indicator for the length of time left, meaning this could last another couple hours, another couple days, another couple weeks, even months. And that is not good news for the people mm. that live on Big Island. And right. we wait with bated breath. All right, uh, Steve Patterson there in Hawaii. Steve, thank you. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.